All right, mate, time for the demonstration. We've explained the Aussies video. Now we're going to replicate the Aussies video. Here we have a large salad bowl. Inside I have a, <laughs> a flat piece of plastic tape to create a flat surface on the inside of the curvature. So what we're replicating here is our gyromagnetic precession and showing that all pressure mediation gradation, pressure mediation is by lowest field voidance, just like fluid dynamics. Here we're moving our flat magnet underneath here is a 5 eighths, uh, 5 eighths inch uh, N48 neodymium iron boron. Here we have our disc magnet on top. You notice if I rotate the top magnet clockwise, I get counterclockwise movement on the disc magnet, which is on the convex surface. Now, if I stop, you notice if I move it counterclockwise, I get clockwise movement. Now you're asking, well, what if you flip the magnet over? What happens then? You get the same thing. If you move the uh, bottom flat magnet clockwise, you'll get clockwise, counterclockwise movement off the magnet sitting at the precessional angle. It doesn't have to be exact. It has to be something close because it's not flat. Because here in the center, we're both pieces, both magnets are flat and I move them around you'll see I get no real movement. Let me move my light here just a, little, a wee little bit getting bad reflection. So, let's show you again what's going on clockwise movement on a flat surface, you're getting counterclockwise movement remember physical movement is not field movement that is why the physical magnet moves differently when I move the other magnet in the opposite direction. Clockwise and counterclockwise centrifugal divergence and centripetal convergence remain the same regardless of how the physical magnet itself is moved. So you'll see I'm moving the bottom magnet here counterclockwise and I'm getting clockwise movement. I move the top magnet, I mean the bottom magnet Clockwise, I'm getting counterclockwise movement. Now let's use a large Teflon magnet. Yeah, show you the same thing. You can kind of see it better. Okay, this is just a Teflon coated uh, one and a quarter inch, I believe. So you'll see I'm getting counterclockwise movement. Here we go. We're going to get it at a right convex angle counterclockwise movement by moving the flat magnet on the inside of the bowl clockwise and we're getting clockwise movement on our Teflon coated magnet by moving the flat magnet counterclockwise. Physical movement is not field movement. That's the mind screw of space. It said you could rotate anything, rot any, rotate anything in the world. Spin it. Rotate your wife, your dog, your cat, anything. It's moving counterclockwise from one side and it's moving clockwise from the other side. Physical spin is not field spin. What is locked in place on this magnet, on every bent magnet, which is not a magnet, it is a dielectric object with imperfect ratio 3.236 of six parts of dielectricity to one part magnetism. Magnetism is radiation. Magnetism is polarization. Well, what does polarization mean? Polarization means it creates space. What does that also mean? It means there's no such thing as magnetic attraction. What? You're crazy. I need to come watch this video. There's an insane person on here that says there's no such thing as magnetic attraction. What does that mean? Well, I will explain that to you in the third edition of Uncovering the Missing Secrets of Magnetism. It is hyperlogical, hyperrational, proves all observed phenomena, and it is irrefutable. Well, we've always been told that magnets attract things, so what the bloody hell are you talking about? You're crazy. You're like talking about like UFOs landing or something, saying there's no such thing as magnetic attraction. Magnetism does not drive magnetism, okay? Magnetism is radiation equals polarization equals the creation of space. See, now these two magnets are trying to come into voidance. 
dielectric void, and so what you call attraction. So why am I getting inverse physical spin when I spin the magnet, the bottom magnet, which is flat, and the top magnet is on our convex, on our convex uh, surface? Well, it doesn't matter if it's a lens or a salad bowl. Because I'm imitating gyromag gyromagnetic precession of how these magnets want to come into voidance. Rather, the dielectricity wants to come into voidance. Physical spin is not field spin. The field, conjugation, centrifugal, centripetal are locked in place when these magnets were created. Physically moving them does not change the field spin. That is where people are wondering, like the Aussies video, like, I don't understand it, Mike, what's going on? I've seen the video, but I don't get it. I don't think I've seen this before. Well, I have seen it before. What's more, replicating, it's easy. I could have a 10-year-old replicate this experiment, explaining it's another matter. So, look, when I'm spinning a flat magnet clockwise, I'm getting counterclockwise movement out of our disk magnet. When I spin the bottom flat magnet counterclockwise, I'm getting clockwise movement out of... I can make it spin rather rapidly. Make it a little slicker. If you want to do this yourself, apply it before you do the experiment. If you set it up and you tape in your plastic on the inside of the bowl to make it flat, smear just a little drop of olive oil on the outside of the bowl and that will fix it. So, here we have both the description and the explanation, Mike. Field spin is not the same thing as physical spin. I can spin this magnet clockwise or kind of clockwise. The field spin is locked into place when it was created. That is the perceptual screw of spice, mate. Hope you enjoyed watching it. Hope you liked the explanation on the prior video. Stay tuned for the third edition of Uncovering the Missing Secrets of Magnetism. Thanks.